If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katedidart. Thanks so much! Hello, hello, my adorable squidlings. It is Katie here, and welcome back to another Zodiac piece for this month. Uh, if you weren't aware, I was unable to do a Zodiac piece in October, so I decided to do two Zodiac pieces this month, one being Libra, which I've already posted, and also I have done Scorpio for this month. So if you're interested in seeing all of my other Zodiac pieces in this series, I will have a playlist pop up on the screen, but be sure to watch this video before you uh, click over to another one. So with Scorpio, um, I found her very interesting, um, and we'll talk about uh, Scorpios a little bit later, like their sign and all that stuff, but I thought it was really interesting because Scorpio is actually a water element, but in my opinion, I would associate them a little bit more with fire. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting and I wanted the background to kind of, um, I don't know, represent that a little bit. So I did a mix of like really bright blues and reds and just kind of let them mix on the paper and Honestly, it was really fun. I This was one of the most fun backgrounds I think I played with this whole series, and I really like the way it turned out. It's very bloomy, and I just, I really like it. I'm very proud of it for sure. So with Scorpio, I decided a side profile and kind of silhouette pose would be best for her, um, especially because it's not something I did too much in my other zodiacs, and I tried to uh, make them as different as possible as term like in terms of posing and like outfits and all that stuff. Um, and another thing I thought about while doing this is how was I going to incorporate the uh, scorpion tail into the picture? And I feel like I'm totally not original while doing this, but I uh, turned her braid into a little scorpion tail and I really liked it. Um, it's very reminiscent of Raisha to me because that's actually what her braid used to look like. So yeah. If you're interested in my Zodiac pieces, any and all of them, including this one, I will have a link on the screen to where you can go check out all of my Zodiac pieces over on my store. Um, I, again, I have them all over there as I produce them, so um, I would really appreciate it if you wanted to take home an original or if you wanted to take home a print. Um, they they want to go to new homes, so uh, if you're interested in any of that, like I said, there will be a link on the screen. So while creating Scorpio, just like literally all of my other pieces uh, in the Zodiac series, I sketched her out. And again, I created a character for her. Um, what I did was, uh, and if you want to see my sketchbook pages on this, I do have a Patreon to where I upload my sketchbook pages. Um, but anyway, I what I do is I sit down and I write out all the facts and stuff like when they're born and the elements and the planets they're ruled by, etc. And then after that, I sit down and I create a character. And with Scorpio, she went through a few different phases in my head before she even got anywhere on paper. Um, and then once I decided on the pose and I knew I wanted the pose that you see in the picture, I wanted a dress that would flatter this pose a lot. And I wanted a dress that I hadn't done yet because, again, I wanted them to be different across all the different zodiacs. I didn't want them to be, like, in the same dress or something like that. So with uh, all of that... <laughs> I kind of sat down and I'd done a few different things and I wasn't really sure. At first, I wanted something more flowy and then I thought about it and I was like, you know, it would be really pretty to have a silhouette type of dress, so like a mermaid fit dress, so it's really tight on the legs, but then she's got like the flowiness on the, like the calf part. Um, and then the top, I think, was the one I had the hardest part with. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do off the shoulder. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a high neck with... Um, no sleeves and then maybe like a little peep window where her chest is. I wasn't sure, um, but I went with obviously what you see in the picture. So it's a little bit of like off the shoulder and I think it's really elegant and I actually looked up some uh, like, I, I, they're not wedding dresses, but it was more like bridal maid dresses. What are they called? Bridesmaid dresses. Um, so with that, uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to do with her is make sure she looked a little bit darker and a little bit more mischievous than some of the other pieces in the series, just because I feel like that's kind of what Scorpio is. And let us finally talk about Scorpios and what I decided to illustrate. So Scorpios are born between October 23rd and November 22nd. So happy birthday to all of you Scorpios out there. 
it is symbolized by the scorpion, of course, and um, you will see eventually, but she does have the little um, M looking symbol and it's kind of like on her shoulder. And they are ruled by either Pluto or Mars. It probably just depends on how you see it as a planet, but in keeping with all of them different, I decided to illustrate Pluto. Then, um, as far as gems are concerned, you know, each zodiac sign has a multitude of different gemstones that you could illustrate. I decided to go with obsidian um, just because I thought it fit a little bit with the kind of like the darker Scorpio like svelte theme. I don't really know. Um, and then their flowers are generally dark red flowers um, with usually it being geraniums. And so that's what I chose to illustrate. And they were really interesting for me to illustrate. They definitely weren't the hardest look out for Sagittarius. Those were the hardest for me to illustrate, but you know, um, they were still really fun to work with. In with the color scheme, I wanted it to have blues because they are a water sign. However, again, with the nature of Scorpio, I also kind of wanted to keep with the red. So I wanted to make sure I had reds and blues, and then I wanted black because I thought that it would make it look more sleek. So, Scorpios are mysterious, they're intense, they're loyal, and they're competitive, and I feel like they would be a great companion to have around. Um, I honestly had a lot of fun with this one, and the constellation was a little interesting for me, because, as you can tell in the background, I kind of lost the constellation. Um, if I ever do a Zodiac series again, and it's kind of like this, I plan on fine-lining the constellation first, because I had quite a few pieces where I lost the constellation. So I googled it again, and it was totally different from the first time I googled it, so I kind of had to wing it, and so that was an interesting little experience. As with each of my Zodiac pieces, I did a base layer of watercolors. This time I was using my Lucas watercolors. If you're interested in any of the specific supplies I used in this video, there will be a uh, link down in the description below. And also, you can get 10% off of your Arteza order. I actually used the Arteza colored pencils in this video and actually quite a few of my other Zodiac pieces. So if you're interested in any Arteza supplies over on their website, I will have a link in the description below. If you use the code KATIEDIDART2 at checkout, you'll get 10% off your whole order. And uh, who doesn't love discounts, right? Especially around this time of the year. So yeah, um, these pieces are so fun, and as I'm recording this, I have actually finished all 12 Zodiacs because I wanted to get my Zodiac calendar out, which, if you didn't know already, hello, I have a Zodiac calendar available for pre-order right now. It is available for pre-order from now until December 15th, and it's going to feature each and every one of my Zodiac pieces, as well as if you pre-order it, you're going to get a sticker of whichever Zodiac lady you would like a sticker of. But if we sell more than 25 calendars, I'm actually going to be upgrading that sticker, or heck, I might even throw the sticker in too, but uh, I'm going to be upgrading that to acrylic charms. So that'll be really fun to make and have um, as your little Zodiac person. So um, if you're interested in that, I will have a link on the screen to where you can go check it out. Uh, these pre-orders are going to be very, very, very limited just because, um, you know, 2019 calendars only last for the duration of 2019, so I'm not going to be producing too many extra like I would like a book or something. So if you're interested in getting any of those, definitely check them out because um, once pre-orders are closed, uh, I'm making the exact amount I need, maybe a few extra for conventions, and then that's it. So yeah, go ahead over and check them out. Uh, I would super duper appreciate it. So now that we are nearing the end of the video, I just want to kind of mention that I'm really proud of myself for getting through this whole series, and I only had a few hiccups. There were only a few months where uh, I was kind of late on them, but I'm really proud that I stuck through a whole year-long series. Of course, next year, I think I'm going to take a break, um, and I... If you're watching this far, I guess you get a little sneak peek into my brain, but I might actually start going down to one video a week. I'm, I've kind of been unmotivated a little bit lately, and I think I need to take some time and recharge, but that is something I plan on talking about in my month-long series that I'm going to be doing in December. It's going to be just really chill videos outside of like my Sagittarius and my unboxing videos, which I like to do every month. Uh, but anyway, I I just want to take a step back and work on myself, work on my mental health a little bit, uh, and work on my art um, in the meantime. I, I don't know if you notice this lately. Uh, maybe you do YouTube videos, maybe you don't, but 
I feel like lately I've been doing art only for YouTube and Patreon and I just, I want to branch out and do art for me and so I think I'm going to take a step back and I, I don't know how long it'll last through the year. Um, I don't think it'll last permanently through the year to be 100% honest, but I definitely do need a little bit of a break. Of course, with Patreon stuff, that's not going to be stopping. I think it's just going to be the YouTube stuff that'll be slowing down a little bit, but other than that, um, you know, I will be coming back, obviously, like, I'm not gonna stop making videos, because I love making videos, I've just been very meh lately, I don't know what it is, but again, it's just something I need to take a little bit of time for myself, so I think I'll just be slowly winding down to about one video a week, uh, and then we'll kind of go from there and see how that all affects everything, so, um, I just want to thank you all so much for sticking by this whole journey of this 12 month illustration a month kind of thing. I also want to thank you all just for bearing with me and for being here and being my lovely supporters. You guys are incredible. I definitely don't deserve you and I just, you guys mean the absolute world to me and I don't know what I would do without all of you. So, uh, again, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you aren't a part of our cute little squid pod, there is a subscribe button down below and there's this button next to that. It's a little bell. If you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. Yay. If you aren't following me on my social media, there will be links in the description below. And again, don't forget, you can get Scorpio over on my store as well as any of my other Zodiac pieces if you're interested. And yeah, until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo. Thank you.